Alright, I think I'm going to get this Santa. This is actually a Lizzie High Santa. It is $3.99. It's called the Department Store Santa. He's like a little shelf sitter kind of thing. Anyway, he last sold for $40. And they have $3.99 on him. So, And there's none currently listed. So that's always a plus. So I think I'm going to get him. I know I've seen some of those before, but like, as with anything, not, they're not all created equal. Some I feel like sell better than others. So for the most part, as far as this Christmas stuff goes, it looks like newer things. I'm always curious what's in these boxes. They're like taped up, like how are you supposed to know? It says it's a crash. I'm gonna pop this open because I'm curious. All right, so this is what was in that box. That's really pretty. So it obviously looks like it was hand painted and it's signed. Probably a little like tourist type piece from Peru. Ornament, that's really pretty. Um, it's $3.99. I'll take a look. I also did just notice this back here. This is a um, Polonaise ornament. These are glass ornaments. Sometimes they can do really well depending on what kind of ornament it is. It does look like it has the tag and it's Noah's Ark. That's really pretty. I'm gonna take a look at that. Uh, let's see what they have on it. Um, looks like $3.99. Alright, the Noah's Ark ornament I'd say is worth maybe about $20. So I may get that though because it's nice. Um, what's this Avon thing? Old St. Nick music box. Maybe take a look at that. <laughs> I do see two of these Boyd's Peeker Bears. I actually have these for, one of these for sale right now. It hasn't sold, so I'm gonna pass on that. This here is a glass, whatever box this is, I don't know if it's a correct box that's in there but um this is a really pretty glass poland made ornament still has the tag the tag says made in poland it's actually really pretty um what they got on that 2.99 i think i'm gonna get that what's in there your ornaments just one just one um yeah. Oh, here's another one of those boxes. What's in this one? Help me, Eric. I was trying to. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right. Is that one also $2.99? It is. I'm going to get those. Holler if you see any more of those boxes. That is not. What is? In that box back there, it looks like pottery or something. Can't really tell what it is. I get it. Here, I'll move this up here. Mm, just little like ramekins. Spotted this vase. We sold something very similar to to this. Yeah, I think that was anthropology. Yeah, this one's. Crate and barrel. It's called a ratty vase. R A T I. It's not bad looking. Yeah. I think we're gonna get that actually, as long as there's nothing wrong with it. Actually, like pottery. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stick it in my stick it in my cart. Found some ornaments. I'm gonna go take a look at some. I did look through the purses. I didn't really see anything. Let me look at this real quick. No, you can tell the quality of that. Just touching it is not, not good. All right, what do you want to look at next, sir? I don't know. Oh, did you? All right, I might look at the women. Spotted this little guy back here. How cute is that? Mr. and Mrs. Claus. It's like a little candle votive. Who makes that? It's Lego. Lego? <laughs> Not like the building blocks. Not Lego. The building block. But that's really cute and it's actually not broken. 
for $1.99. So I think I'm gonna get that. What did you see? He's got corn cobs Aww. in his pants. <laughs> How cute is he? He's cute. I, I'm just gonna show you guys some of what's in our cart. Eric also picked up this seahorse trinket box. That's $3.99. It's really pretty. And we actually have these dishes, so they're just going to be like replacement pieces for us. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back in the basement. I'm going to share with you the stuff that Eric and I found while we were at Goodwill. So we found a couple of things. It wasn't a whole lot of stuff. So I did find these really beautiful, two of these Poland blown glass Christmas ornaments. These are absolutely gorgeous. This one is purple has this really nice glitter accents. These are technically new. They still do have a tag that says made in Poland and they're marked Poland on the top there. And this one is a little parachuting snowman. He is so cute. I fell in love with these. So I grabbed the two that I did see and he was $2.99 and I listed him as a buy it now for $29.99. I saw one other one listed. It was kind of different colors than this one. And they had it listed for a little bit more than that. So slightly cheaper uh, since I didn't pay much. And then the other one that I found was this one. And again, this one still has its little tag as well. And this is just a really beautiful, thick, intricate, blown glass. Um, also made in Poland ornament. Also with the glittery accents. Paid $2.99 for this one. And I also listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. So gorgeous ornaments there. Perfect because Christmas is coming and people are looking for ornaments. I also found this one. This one is a Polonaise by Kurt Adler. Also blown glass. And this one's also brand new. Still has the tag attached. And it's depiction of Noah's Ark. So a really nice one. This one here, I think I also paid $2.99 for it. Might have been $3.99, $2.99 or $3.99. And I listed this one as a buy it now for $25.99. Saw a couple of these um, Lizzie High dolls is what they're called. Some of them are worth a little bit, but not all of them. I think I said in my footage video, they're not all created equal. And that's with a lot of things. Um, one piece might be kind of worthless and the next one is more desirable. So this one here is called the Department Store Santa. It still did have its tag. So it says that he is the Department Store Santa and it is signed by the artist on the back. So this is from 1991. And he is a, like a shelf sitter, like his bottom is flat. He would have originally had a chair of some sort, but considering he is like a shelf sitter, you could sit him anywhere. Um, and there wasn't any of this one currently listed, which is always a good thing in my eye because you're not competing with any other sellers as far as even a price point like you can set your price if you're the only one that has something available so the last one of these sold for $40 um even without the chair I was seeing selling for $40 so I went ahead and picked this up I think this was $2.99 as well and I listed it as a buy it now for $40 do you hear that no 99 cents $40 <laughs> Be proud of me. Spotted this vase. This is by Crate and Barrel, and it's called the Ratty Vase, R-A-T-I. I sold a vase very similar to this. It looked very similar. Um, that was by Anthropology. This one's by Crate and Barrel. I think this was $3.99 or $4.99, if I'm remembering correctly. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Um, it's like a very nice, what do you want to call it? Um, just like kind of classic piece. The, the colors of this will go with a lot of things. And it has a really cool like texturized look to it. So pick that up. Also found this little vintage um, ceramic bisque little votive candle holder. So you could, you could put a candle in this or, you know, anything, even like little vintage Christmas picks or whatnot. Uh, but it's got Mr. and Mrs. Claus kind of sitting on a 
a tree branch and then the tree trunk is you know where you can put something and this is by lego it still has its sticker this was a dollar 99 and i listed this as a buy it now for twelve dollars and 99 cents so that was a cute pickup um grabbed that as soon as the lady put it on the shelf she was just putting that away she also put this on the shelf and i took this as well this is a little anna lee um reindeer it still has its tag it's called the rustic pine fawn and really cute i don't always pick up anna lee pieces but this one in particular again there were none listed so i went ahead and took it um 2.99 or 3.99 for this that's the typical goodwill price when it's like a small hard good um and this here i listed on auction with a starting price of 22 dollars 99 that's what the last one sold for but since there weren't any currently listed i went with auction on this just in case there's more than one person who is looking out for it eric also picked up this trinket box this is a gorgeous enameled seahorse trinket box it's got rhinestones it's on the heavy side too, very pretty. It's not Monet, it's not marked or anything, but when you lift him up, he's got that magnetic closure there. And it's just a really pretty piece. Here's what the other side looks like with the coral reef underneath of him. I think this was again $2.99 or $3.99. And we listed this as a buy it now for $22.99. I also picked up this recipe tin. It's really pretty uh, orange top with these groovy daisy flowers all over. It is by um, Syndicate Manufacturing Company. This recipe tin was $1.99. So I actually bought a tin recipe box at a yard sale. Um, this would have been quite a few weeks ago and it was full of handwritten recipe cards, but the tin that it was in was not in the best condition. Someone had taped like a picture of cats on the side. I mean, it was cute, but it just wasn't in the best condition. So when I saw this, I was like, I am transferring all of those recipes into this tin. So that's precisely what I did. Um, so it is full of all of the handwritten recipe cards that were in the recipe tin I got at the yard sale. So $1.99 for this. At the yard sale, I'd say I paid a dollar for the tin of recipes. So I got $2.99 into this right here. And I did put this on auction with a starting price of $39.99. So I put it on auction because the recipe card boxes that are filled with the handwritten cards, um, when I was looking at sold, they were kind of all over the place as far as sales go. So it probably depends on the recipe box like what that looks like and maybe how full the tin is and that type of thing i'm not entirely sure but i just put it on auction just in case because i don't know but what i was seeing in my research on looking up <laughs> filled recipe and not even filled recipe tins but recipe tins in general the christmas ones sell really well so just keep that in mind if you ever come across a recipe tin also we picked up a stack of false graph um, plates it's actually the plates that Eric and I have and use. We got ours, we paid full price at, I think we got them at, I wanna say it was the Bonton. Um, so we just bought those for us. Um, I know we had broken one of our bowls already. So it was kind of just to have in case we would happen to break any more and just you know add to what we already have so like the stacks of them i think range from 5.99 to 6.99 for a stack but like i said we are keeping all of those so that is pretty much everything that we picked up at goodwill um like i said it wasn't a whole lot of stuff but i'm really happy with the things that we did find so i'm glad we decided to stop because it had been a while um i'm gonna show just a couple more things whilst i'm down here and have my light set up and everything like that so hopefully you guys don't mind seeing a couple more things um a few of these things are from the auction so we recently won this hallmark north pole countdown ornament at the auction um it came with another ornament i don't have that one listed yet because we have to get a battery for it um uh, but eric paid 
I think $11 for the, the two of them. And the other one is a Christmas story ornament. So this one looks like an old um, vintage radio. And I do have the batteries in here so you can see. But when you turn the knob. Hello, everybody. 22 days to go, and the big news is trouble in the toy shop. Also we go that. to Twink's Mick Scott on the scene. Aye, things came to a standstill today when the hot cocoa machine went haywire. Nobody was hurt, but one elf was completely covered in I can't turn it off yet, so I'm just going to have to Sounds talk over delicious. it. But Thank you just turn the dial, and it has, like, the days all the way until the 25th. So you turn the dial to the day, and then it gives kind of like a little update from the North Pole. Really cute. So this here I have listed as a buy it now for $25.99. I also have this Jim Shore Santa Claus um, Christmas ornament. Um, this here came from a yard sale. I paid $1.50 for it and I have this listed as a buy it now for $9.99. These also came from the auction. These are absolutely adorable. These are two little vintage ceramic um, ladybug <laughs> figures. They have that wonderful, kitschy, like anthropomorphic look to them. They don't have stickers anymore, so I don't know who originally made them. When I looked them up, this one, the last one of this sold for $70 just for this one, which is insane. Um, and this one here does have two issues. Uh, there is a little tiny chip on the back of his hat and his head was repaired but it was done so well I don't even know if you'll be able to see it um but just the fact that this one alone sold for $70 is insane so I did list them did you hear that I got a cha-ching I did list these together as the lot Eric paid I want to say a dollar a dollar two dollars for these um I listed these on auction with a starting price of $39.99. They have 11 watchers already. Let's check what that cha-ching was because I'm so curious. Oh, I sold a Josie Marin um, Argon Oil Butter. Um, awesome. I've been selling a lot of beauty stuff recently, which is awesome. All right, and then the last things that I'm gonna share with you. Uh, so the other day at the auction, a bunch of duck decoys came up and I am the type of reseller, and you guys should know this by now, I will sell anything. Anything that's got a profit is what I will sell. I don't care what it is. Um, so these duck decoys were at the auction and you know, I feel like most people who are resellers, um, you know, if it's something they don't really know much about, they just don't kind of bother. And you shouldn't be that way. <laughs> you should not be that way. Uh, when I see something I don't know anything about, I learn about it. So when these duck decoys came up at the auction, I researched them all. I figured out what they last sold for, how much they were worth, and I did my homework. Yes, it is time consuming. Yes, it takes me a while to, to research this stuff and everything like that. Um, so, but it's worth it because obviously, you know, when the stuff sells and you can make a decent profit, all of your research and homework is going to be worth it. So that's why I'm always like, wanting to learn about things that I don't know anything about. So it's so funny because I know I've said before to you guys, like Eric is typically the one that goes to the auction and I'm the one who tells him what to buy and how much to bid on it and what I'm going to sell it for and that type of thing. So it's so funny, like when he's bidding on stuff that he wouldn't normally bid on, like say these duck decoys, like people want to ch chitter chatter like, oh, now he's after the duck decoys. You know what I mean? Because I will literally be after anything, um, you know, if it's going to make money. So duck decoys, let's learn a little bit. So the first one, most of these are all marked. Um, they are by a company called Herders Inc., they are stamped on here, 1893. And then the person who owned these wrote in marker what 
the duck or bird is on the bottom, which is, was nice for me because it made it easier for me to find them because I don't know my, the names of my ducks. So this thing is huge. It's wood, it's painted, glass eyes. I mean, this is a nice duck. So I told Eric, and I warned him beforehand, I was like, okay, obviously I know nothing about duck decoys. This is all based off my research. I cannot guarantee that they're gonna sell for the prices that I'm asking. Like I said, I went off other solds, but you just never know. Um, so I told him, I was like, well, if they don't sell on eBay, I do think they'd probably sell in the booth. I mean, I know a lot of people like to collect these things. It's not, not um, something I don't think won't go at some point regardless of where we sell it because these are really nice duck decoys. So this one was the loon. Um, Eric paid, I'm trying to think, I don't have the prices of each one down here obviously with me. Um, I would say anywhere from, I think this one he paid the, the least amount for. I want to say maybe it was like $15 if that and then the prices did go up from there um, but even still with the prices I gave him I'm still gonna make a great profit off of these if they sell at the prices that I'm asking so I did put them all on auction just because there wasn't any of them currently listed so the loon here I listed on auction with a starting price of $49.99. It already has four watchers. So I think this one might be a good one. And what's funny about this one is I couldn't find it at all. I had no clue what to price it at or to tell him what to bid or anything like that. So I just had in my head, I'm going to list it on auction for $49.99 because in my eyes it's worth at least that because it's nice duck decoy. I feel like it's worth 50 bucks. So um, yeah, so that's what I went with for watchers. So already we're like doing great and it has a bid. So gotta love that. Uh, here's the next duck. Again, this one is stamped with the herders with the 18, 1893 mark. And this one is called an American Merganser. If I'm pronouncing that right but again really nice duck these all have glass eyes this one ever so slightly smaller than the other one and this one here I have listed on auction starting price $99.99 like I said went by sold got to this one also um, herders this one is called a redhead because it's got a redhead <laughs> I have this one listed on auction, start price $119.99. This one's a smaller guy. He is a ruddy duck. Ruddy duck. And this one I have listed on auction $129.99. All right, next one looks like this. I love this one. The like lines and stuff on it the paint the paint job on that one is really nice this one is called a gold wall and i have this one on auction start price 124 dollars and 99 cents got this one here this one is a pintail and he is listed on auction 124 dollars and 99 cents is called a barrows golden eye and he is listed on auction for $159.99. Then I also have this one, and he is a blue wing teal. He's got a really pretty blue wing on him, and I have him on auction start price $59.99. We do have one more that isn't listed yet, um, and I can't remember what that is, but... I'll show it to you guys um, next time I do a haul. Um, one thing I will say about these, um, I don't know if it's because it's like a, depending on what category you list it for, or I'm not sure. I cannot answer this, this, why this happened, but I listed all of these duck decoys yesterday and they didn't show up until today. So I was about ready to message eBay for business, like asking, hello, eBay, why haven't you 
you know, listed my ducks because I put them up yesterday and they were not showing up in searches until today. So I don't know if like some things you list on eBay go through some sort of screening process and it might have to do with the category, like if it's under like hunting or anything like that, it might go through some sort of screening process just to make sure everything is kosher about what is being listed. So what sucks about that is that eBay doesn't seem to, you know, give you any more of that auction time back. <laughs> Basically, it's been listed since yesterday, but nobody's seen it until today, and I'm not getting that view time back. So that's what sucks about, <laughs> one thing that sucks about eBay. I wish that they would recoup that lost time of stuff that is not being able to be listed because they haven't approved it on their end yet like it should start the auction start time should start when they approve the listing and it doesn't i got another cha-ching that's amazing anyway that's just a little bit of a rant and like i said it's not with everything it just seems like it's within certain categories and I do believe probably hunting is, you know, one of those categories where they just screen things and apparently duck decoys are being screened before they're listed. Let's see what that chiching was. <laughs> um, oh, I sold that Nintendo. Remember that Nintendo dust cover in one of my hauls? That sold today. It didn't, I had it on auction with a start price of $49. No one bid. It had quite a few watchers. So I just listed it as a buy it now for that price and someone took it. So that's awesome. Um, I do believe sales are going pretty decently. So that's always a plus. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Do you know anything about the duck decoys? If you do, did I do a good job with these? Let me know. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.